Hi, my name is Gwen McIntyre. I'm a senior nurse uh, who works for Care of the Elderly Directorate um, in an acute hospital. I routinely set my alarm on a work day to 5.20am. Um, sometimes I get up at that time, other times I snooze on for 10 minutes to 5.30. And then I go straight into my gym clothes. I usually have my gear packed the night before along with food and drink etc that I'm going to bring into work and I head straight to the gym. I usually get there about 6am and at that point in time I'll do a routine for about 30 to 40 minutes um, before having a shower at the gym and getting dressed in uh, civvies and then coming into the work. We're usually here for between seven and a half past. Uh, I'll then get into uniform and start looking at the emails for the day and at the overnight reports. I'm always keen to know what's happened overnight and what we're addressing first thing in the morning. At that point, I usually break out my breakfast because I'll be quite hungry. Um, it's usually fruit and yogurt or I'll have some, you know, cold cuts and, and cheeses. Um, my team come in just between sort of 8 o'clock and quarter past for a, a safety huddle. And we'll then spend sort of 10, 15 minutes discussing what's happened overnight and the plan moving forward for the day with regards to their staffing and any safety concerns we've got. We then go into what we call the, the Hear Myers Onion. And at that point, it's a larger group from all of the hospital that's invited. And we discuss staffing, um, bed flow and any safety aspects. And that usually finishes about half past eight to quarter to nine. The senior managers, including myself, would stay in the boardroom at that point in time while the staff get back to the wards. And we would then have a, a debrief of the previous day's on call. Uh, so if that's myself, like yesterday, I was then able to explain this morning any key points that had happened and any safety aspects to take forward. Usually I've got a cup of coffee at this point in time as well, uh, just to keep me going. Um, we spend maybe about 15 minutes most days um, just doing a debrief. So usually by 9 o'clock, 10 past 9, I'm out of the boardroom and I'm ready to start my other activities. It's usually directed by what's happened overnight um, and what the, the teams are needing from me. So I'll prioritise what they require for support before anything else that's actually in my diary. Um, diary events such as today, I've been in HR meetings, sickness absence meetings, uh, along with having a plan of different reviews and bigger pieces of work that I need to uh, challenge myself with to get finished. I am quite often I'll try and have a snack about half 10, 11 o'clock uh, and another cup of coffee and that just keeps me going through till after lunchtime. The day is really variable so you can have a lot of things in your diary. Quite often I can be off site, I've got a, a, a ward down in Stonehouse so again that can take up a good chunk of your day to spend time with the staff but also to have your travel time, it's a good half hour, 40 minutes down there and back depending on what's going on in the roads. I'm usually here till about five o'clock, if not slightly later at night. Um, and when I leave, I like to de-stress, so I'll get into the car and I'll put some music on. And I'll drive usually over to the shops if I need to pick up something for dinner for myself and my fiancé. When I get home, the first thing I do is take the dog out, uh, because she'll be crying, uh, looking for attention. And it's usually sort of 10, 15 minutes at a gentle walk, because she's getting a bit older now. Um, I'll then prepare dinner, which can be healthy at the moment mostly, um, so it can be stir fry, salads, etc, to do a lot of home cooking. By the time we sit down to dinner, it can be half past seven, eight o'clock at night, um, so it's always a bit of a shock when you're you're finally sat down, you put the recliner out on the couch and you think, it's you know, it's after eight o'clock, you've had your dinner, dishes are done, but the routine then starts again of packing the gym bag, putting the washing on, um, possibly watching a couple of downloaded programmes, almost don't watch normal TV anymore just because uh, the work pattern, it can be very variable um, and you don't want to miss things. So we do an awful lot of uh, download from Sky or from Netflix. Usually about nine o'clock, half past nine, I start to get a wee bit tired and I start thinking about what amount of sleep I'm going to have when I'm setting the alarm for 5.20 again. So I like to try and be in bed and, you know, teeth brushed um, and all set up ready for the next morning. Um, but I don't just go to sleep. Um, I don't tend to read a lot when I'm, I'm on work week. Um, it's usually on holidays. But I do tend to scroll through um, the iPad or onto Facebook, social media, Twitter, trying to catch up with all the other aspects that are going on professionally and personally. Um, I usually am asleep by half past ten though. Um, and that's usually my, my work routine ended.